it, it also seems that we're placing a huge amount of power with the surgeons in these situations of yeah. whether you can get a discharge, whether you can stay, whether you have to stay in the hospital for a longer time to recover. And, but correct me if I'm wrong, we're, we're talking not the most highly of educated, especially from our modern day perspective, doctors and surgeons here. So it, it somewhat feels like it really depends on who you get as a surgeon, how sympathetic they may be to your case. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that, that aspect of it is really important. If you had a, I mean, if you had a good relationship with the surgeon, if you happen to know him mm -hmm. beforehand, um, there's a lot of grumbling from convalescent soldiers that so-and-so was the surgeon's favorite. And so he got to go home on a furlough or it's, it's very similar to the way that you hear soldiers grumble about their officers, right? Mm -hmm. their, their officers are playing favorites. They like these guys cause they're from their hometown or whatever. Right. Um, there's a similar dynamic with surgeons um, and soldiers really were frustrated with the fact that they felt powerless in this. And this comes up a lot in the first couple of, of chapters in the book particularly, mm -hmm. but I think one of the themes of the book overall became about power, mm -hmm. right? And it very much became about the, the power, who has the power mm -hmm. to determine what disability even means. Yeah. And often the people who had that power were not the disabled people themselves, right? And so you have a lot of conflicts, whether it's in the invalid core, where you have these guys who are saying, I hate this. I don't want to be in the invalid core. They're calling me an invalid. That's a gendered term. Mm -hmm. I'm not an invalid. I'm a man, right? right. Um, and resenting that, resenting the uniforms, resenting the name, mm -hmm. um, or later on, uh, or it, later on in the book, I should say, I talk about conflicts that end up devolving into court martials mm -hmm. over this very question, right? Are you as disabled as you say that you are? And if you are, should that be an excuse for whatever thing you did that caused you to be court martialed, right? So it, it, there's a lot of conflict over who has the power to determine what, how we should interpret your body. 